very exciting project today. You guys read the title, so you know what we're doing. Let me show you what I bought. Clean this up a little bit. This is a Bridgestone, I think it's called a Speig 7, S-P-E-I-G 7. Not a very common wheel at all. It is a legitimate wheel and it's a legitimate two-piece which I'm pretty stoked about. I've never owned two-piece wheels. I've never owned any multi-piece wheel. Um, and this is a legitimate JDM wheel. Now, I picked these up off of Facebook Marketplace for $350. And I bought them for one reason, and it's to try something that I've always wanted to try. Before we get into that, we need to get all of these things apart. All right, so I've actually already filmed a lot for this video, but a lot of it you're not gonna see, and there's a good reason. Um, I've been learning how to polish. I don't really know how to polish. I've never polished aluminum until I got these wheels, and uh, these need a lot of work. So I've been testing out some ideas, some theories that I had. This is probably the cheapest way for me to do it and be interested in what I'm doing. So I started off uh, with a strip wheel on the first wheel and then worked through all my sandpaper grits, and then polished it with Mother's Polish. And it came out pretty decent. That was close. This is the first barrel that I polished. Woo. This is the first barrel that I polished. And you can see it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Now these are old barrels. They've been through a long, just hard life. So there's some blemishes and stuff, but Overall, I'm happy with the outcome, and I think it looks pretty good. But as I kind of learned this process a little bit better, I felt like I could do, well, I could do better. And not only that, but I actually felt like I could create something better. So, I did another wheel. This is the second wheel that I did. And after doing a lot of research on doing aluminum and polishing aluminum, I created a polish. Like invented one, my own. It's pretty cool. And it worked really well. Now this one is a lot smoother. It's a lot more reflective. The, the reflection's a lot deeper, which is really cool. And it is that way because of the polish that I created. Still got some on my hands. So that's the polish I'm gonna use. Now what I did on this one that was a mistake is I used a flap wheel instead of a strip wheel. So the difference is the strip wheel has got this like real rough kind of grit and it doesn't really bite into the metal. The flap wheel bites into the metal and it does it pretty aggressively. So there's some blemishes in the metal that I created with the strip wheel or with the flap wheel. And so flap wheel is not the way to go, strip wheel is. The whole purpose of me telling you all of that is because I have a process now that I think is going to be really good for restoring really rough old aluminum like this in your garage without any really special tools. You do need a buffer, that's basically it. Let's do it. Are you using some bolts? Yeah, I'm using some bolts. So what I'm doing is see how dirty, see how dirty this wheel looks? See how dirty? I'm gonna make it look shiny. Like this one. See? Is it shiny? That one's shiny. See how shiny? And that one's shiny? Yep, these two are shiny. And, and those two are dirty, so we're gonna make the dirty one shiny. Cool? Is this one already done? No, see that's a this is a it's called a strip a strip wheel and it'll take off all the dirt from that wheel. I'll do it. Or are we gonna do two of the big ones? These wheels? I gotta clean them all off. Gonna make tons of dirt go everywhere. I'm gonna do this one too. Oh, we can't use this one. This one makes, messes the metal up. I learned that the hard way. We gotta use it with the hose. Oh, I tried the hose. The hose wouldn't clean them. I can dry the hose better than you. You think you can try the hose better than me? Yeah. We'll clean them with the hose. When Daddy gets done making them all shiny, we'll clean them with the hose, okay? You can go play on your... Whoa! What uh, don't touch it, it's dirty. Oh. What is it? <laughs> Look at your hands, see if your hands are black. A little bit. Yeah. 
Hey, uh, that's that's for cleaning. Um, why don't you go jump on the trampoline with your cars? But I can't. Why? Cause it, but cause it's too big. Oh, I bet mommy will put you up there. Okay, is her out here? I think so. I think I hear her. I should say, I think at this point, this is by far not a professional polishing process. This is one I made up. So do it at your own risk. I don't know if it's dangerous or safe. Wear a respirator. Um, but it's working for me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not liable for you ruining wheels. So where we're at now, my son's riding his power wheels. So you're going to hear that. Where we're at now is I've got it up to 220. And at 220, it really starts to smooth out a lot. You're going to see a lot of scratches and nicks that are just there because this wheel has had a long and very hard life. So that's okay. I'm not really worried about that today. This one was actually repaired right here. So I'm glad I got to sand it down because I can see that the repair fused all the way together. But yeah, this is super smooth. I've gotten all of the deep scratches out that I can see. I've got some right here that I need to go get. Um, but at 220 is when you really want to make sure that everything looks uniform and smooth. Before that, it's kind of hard to see. At 220, you can tell. So, like, I can see some deep scratches in here that we're going to get rid of. Um, what this has done so far, though, is removed all the machining. So, like, on a normal wheel, when you look in the barrel, you'll see, like, those machine lines in it. Um, that's normal. This has taken all of that out. So, this is going to look like, kind of like forged lips do. Uh, be real smooth. Um, but at this point... Let me get rid of these scratches real quick. One second. So that's so that's as much time as I'm going to spend on it, and I think it looks pretty decent. This is my special mixture of stuff that I call Caleb's secret stuff. It's like Michael's secret stuff. Uh, didn't you forget something? What? Your secret stuff. <laughs> but instead of muscles, you get shiny wheels. And it is really, really good. Now, it's not super secret. You guys will probably, especially you guys that are familiar with polishing, will probably know what's in it. I'm not gonna tell you though, because then it wouldn't be a secret. All right, but before we polish with it, we're gonna sand with it. So this is where wet sanding starts, and I'm going to wet sand with the secret stuff. It's kind of a polishing agent as well. So it should lubricate, it should help sand, we're going to start with 400 and work our way up all the way through 2,000. That is polished. Now, it could be better, it could be more reflective. The reflection could be deeper. You guys can see my hand in there. Uh, but I'm actually really happy <laughs> with where these started and where we are now. Now, as I learn more about polishing, I may be able to bring these into a little bit deeper of a shine. Um, but for now, I think that is gonna work just fine. To give you a little bit of a recap, this is the factory polished lip and this is mine. So, you know, we're pretty good. It looks pretty decent for what it is. So, that's number three. I'm going to do the fourth one, and then we can start putting these wheels back together. Pretty cool. Alright, so first of all, I just realized I haven't talked about specs at all. So, these are 16-inch wheels, which is what I was looking for, and they are staggered. So, the fronts are 7 inches wide, and the backs are 8. It's not super wide, but I think it's going to be wide enough because of the offset we were able to achieve. Now, here's what I mean by that. We are going to take these wheels, which you might have guessed, and flip the centers around. I actually think the centers have to go on the other side. What I mean by that is I think they have to do like this because of the recessed portion. It's, it's kind of machined out for that. So uh, that's probably what it's going to be like. 
and it's going to make these a super low offset. This is the back of the wheel where my hand is. So that's <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it's like the most negative that an offset can get. So um, again, I don't know if this is safe, so don't try this at home. I'll try it at my home, and if it's not safe, I'll tell you. Um, but I'm really stoked about this. This is what they're going to look like. So seven inches on the front, eight inches on the back, negative, um, negative a lot offset. Hang on. And that is hilarious. So it actually, we are about a millimeter, two millimeters off from being all the way flush with the back of the wheel, which makes that um, four inches going to be right at three and seven eighths inches. So I'll convert that to millimeters. I think it's around 90 millimeters, which means this is a, um, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I got this right. This is a uh, 16 by 7 negative, or uh, ET negative 90, uh, which is ridiculous. Again, I don't know if this is safe at all. It could be totally dangerous. Do not try this at home. This is what we, it's great, it's fine. This is what we are going to be working with. This is how the wheel is going to look. And uh, we'll continue building it in the next episode. And here's why I'm going to make another episode. I want to do a custom finish on these faces. I've painted several wheels in the past. And I've had a lot of you guys say things like, hey, do you try a custom finish? Um, and so we're going to try a custom finish on these and see how it comes out. I've got a good idea of what I'm going to do. And I think it's going to be really cool. So we're going to try that out. If it works out, cool. If not, we'll just paint them. But that is going to be in the next video. So part two of this will be finishing off the centers in a custom one-off finish and putting these wheels back together. And we might stage them on the car because i got to show you what car they're going on. That will happen next Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss it. Make sure you subscribe so you can see what these things look like finished and on a car. They are going to be nuts. See you guys soon.